Good afternoon. We are in the kitchen this afternoon because it is gloomy outside. It was raining, but it stopped, but it's still pretty cool out and rainy, and this is the perfect time of the year to make a soup, and especially this soup because this is an Italian soup. It's called Italian penicillin. I don't know the true Italian name for this soup because I'm not Italian, and I've never made this soup. So we're going to make this together, and the reason I'm making it is because you'll notice my voice is a bit raspy. I have something going on, and I think it's probably allergies or something like that. So my voice is a little raspy things look a little bit off and I thought it was perfect to have this wonderful trending soup. This recipe has been online every day for at least a month. I see it popping up on my feeds constantly. So of course whenever I see something numerous times I know it must be good so I have to try it or we have to try this together. It's very simple and the main ingredients are so healthy it's a lot of vegetables. So you will need an onion, a whole onion, you will need garlic and you'll need celery and carrots. Now I've washed all of these vegetables so they are ready to go. In addition to all of the vegetables, you will need a few other items. You will need chicken broth, definitely chicken broth. You will need uh, pastina pasta. Now I don't know if you've used pastina pasta before but it is tiny. It is smaller than a grain of rice. And I think that's about it. Of course, you're going to be using water, and I have some optional items. I am going to be using several, and I'll tell you as we go along. I might add some salt. Even though I got the low sodium, I'm going to see if mine tastes like it needs more salt, so, which seems a little odd, but you know, you don't want to over salt it. So I'm going to start low on the salt and I can build that. And I'm going to add chicken bouillon because I want that extra chicken flavor. Now, this recipe has several variations. I have read the recipes for probably five variations on this soup. All of them have this standard onion, garlic, celery, and carrots, and chicken broth. Now after that is when you can begin making changes. And I will let you know the ones that I am adding that are not in some of the original recipes. Because when you've read through five or six recipes, you're going to notice that each one has some slight difference. But the main thing you're going to need is someone to cook this soup. And if you're not feeling well, forward this video to a friend or family member and have them make it for you and bring you some soup. And if you're making it and you want to share it with friends and family, you can make plenty and everyone is going to love you for it. So let's begin with our soup. I have an enormous pot ready for us and we're going to add six cups of water. Wow, exact measurement. That's impressive. Now let's add four cups of chicken broth. Now if you want to substitute chicken with vegetable broth, that will work just as well. You just won't have that chicken flavor. So that's one large container of chicken broth. This is Progresso and that is 32 ounces. Well, if I had read the box, I would have known that. So we have our four cups of chicken broth. Thank you. 
Okay, now we can start with the vegetables. I try to use organic vegetables as often as possible. So sometimes that's a little difficult to find. Sometimes it's very difficult to find organic garlic. I do not know why, but I have found it today. So we're going to use organic garlic. So let's get started. Let's move a few things out of our way so we'll have some workspace. Now as far as the vegetables go, put all that together because we are going to cut the ends off of our onion, remove the outer skin, and that's it. We're going to add that to the pot, and I'll show you in a moment. You will need three ribs of celery. This is four, but one of them is tiny, but it's beautiful, nice and fresh. And like I said, it's already been washed. So we're going to set that aside. Let's use this little guy right here. That's not too much extra. We're, so we have our onion and, and we have our celery. Right there, I'll put it back in the refrigerator later. You will need six whole carrots. And that's it. I removed the tops and the root. Put my extras over here. Now we're going to prepare the garlic. Okay, I have prepared six cloves of garlic and we're going to leave those whole because we're going to add all this. I don't need this other one. Garlic came as two bulbs per package and I didn't need that one, but I will use it in another dish. So we have six cloves of garlic. We have six small carrots. Now if you have those very large carrots, use three. We have three stalks of celery and I just had this little guy left over so I'm adding him in there and one whole onion. Now we add it to the chicken broth. Now we have everything in the stock pot and we're going to bring that to a boil and we'll allow it to cook for 45 minutes. It has now been 45 minutes of boiling these vegetables and we have scooped those vegetables out, put them in a bowl and added a couple of ladles of the broth. So we're going to 
put those items in our blender. Let me get, let's get our onion. Remember our whole onion? We're going to put that into the blender. And all of our celery and carrots. I do wish you could smell this. It is incredible. And then what I have left is the garlic and two ladles of chicken broth. Oh, wonderful. We're going to close this up tightly and blend. This is a great time to add a teaspoon of chicken bouillon. So let's whoop, <laughs> scoop some in and blend a bit longer. Now remember that is optional. That was my choice. And also the salt. I'm not going to add salt yet. I'm going to wait and see how salty it is. Because our family is very sensitive to salt. We can really taste that salt. But if you love that salty flavor, go ahead and add a bit. All right. Let's put this in the sink messiness okay now we're going to add it back to the stock pot While our soup continues to cook, I am boiling lean chicken breast and shredding it, and we can use that as an optional ingredient. Well, I must say, this house smells so divine. Any of my neighbors who are walking by and smell this wafting through the windows are going to stop and ask me what I'm cooking. But you're going to know before they do. We are going to make two bowls of this soup and I'm going to show you the options for serving it. I'm using Gorilla Pastina. It only takes about eight minutes to cook, and you'll use the pastina as a bed over which you'll pour your soup. Well, here we have it. This is the simplest version of Italian penicillin soup, which is, it's a horrible name, but if you're not feeling well, it makes sense. Let's try this. Well, I feel better already. It is delicious. I do have some options though. Now tell me if you have ever made this, what have you added to it or what have you done differently than I've done because we can all learn from this experience. I have seen several recipes and one of the items that, a couple of them 
added was actually making it a heartier soup and adding shredded chicken. Now while this was cooking, I did boil some chicken. It's just boiled chicken. So if you're not feeling well and you don't want, you know, who wants fried chicken when you're not feeling well? You can add chicken and I shredded that. You can add, I'm gonna set this here so I can do this. You can add Parmesan cheese. So let's grate some Parmesan cheese on this. You can add a squeeze of lemon. That looks good. Of course, you can add salt. Now, I don't know that you would want to add everything at one time. You might want to try one ingredient and then add some other ingredients. But I'm going to add them all. I'm going to go for it. Let's see how this tastes. Let's get a clean spoon. I'm going to mix this together. I don't know how you can improve on this, but like I said, to make it heartier, or if you want a little zest, add the lemon, and then if you like cheese, if you're a cheese lover. Oh my gosh, this is unbelievable. Well, think of all of the vegetables that are included in this. It couldn't be more healthy. There's nothing that's going to hurt you in here. Now this is a keeper. So keep this, save this video, or share it with a friend. And like I said, if you have any ideas that would improve this soup, if you've made it, you might be Italian and you've had it all your life and it's three generation recipe, I want to hear about it. We all want to hear about it. We want to see what you do differently than just trying it for the first time. I highly, highly recommend this soup. And like I said, it is called Italian penicillin soup. For those of us who have little scratchy throats or things like that, it makes you feel like you are loved. And I love my viewers. So if you love this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're not a subscriber, I would absolutely love to have you as a subscriber. So tap that subscribe button and the bell to the right of that subscribe button, tap that too and you'll be notified every time I post a new video. And don't forget, you can follow me on Instagram. Bye.